power or the semblance of it emanates today from many parts of the country starting with Cebu. It is where the oldest image of the Holy Child or the Santo Nino is enshrined. It is where the celebration and festivities attain fever pitch and where the most number of people from all over the country and the world have congregated for days now. But Cebu is by no means the only place in the country where the Santo Nino is honored today. It is a picture not just of festive celebrations, but one of power, or more precisely, the compelling power of simplicity and humility. When we talk about a feast and a celebration, especially that of the Santo Nino, embraced by not just Catholics, but by the whole nation and the whole world, tourists, for example, we need to define what makes the whole country go wild today. Let me define the many reasons. Firstly, we Filipinos love children. Children are always the focal point of families all over. We find endless joy looking at the cute antics of children. We love them when they cry. We love them when they smile. We love them when they sleep and when they are awake. We love them even when they are angry. The child is not just the focus of attention. He or she is the source of our daily simple joys. The reason why young parents want to arrive home as early as possible despite the traffic, despite the tiredness and the pains of daily life in this country of a myriad problems. Today, all the stops are pulled out and all the rugs and car carpets rolled out, figuratively speaking. We party in style. We dance with enthusiastic glee, and we proclaim the honor of a child, a man, God, the Son of God, made a man, but first, he was a child. But I would like to essay, essay a second guess. Filipinos are a humbled people. I did not say humble, but humbled. 400 years of colonization brought, brought us a blessing and a curse at the same time of being perpetually humbled. We were once called Indios. We were once called little brown monkeys. And I do not need to remind you who called us such by, by such unsavory names. We are a humbled people. We love children who are by nature lowly, simple, and humble. We love children because the child represents who we are at bottom, lowly, simple, humble, and pleading and dependent to a fault. We glorify the humility of a child today. We raise humility to a level not just of folk art, but the level of blessedness. And in case you have not realized it yet, the gospel does the same. It proclaims the beauty of simplicity and humility, and acclaims the hidden greatness behind the picture of weakness, simplicity, lowliness, and the humility of a child. Indeed, there is nothing more simple than greatness. To be simple and humble is to be great. Viva Pit Senor! God bless you.